Russian soldiers detonate mines in the Dnieper River using improvised trawls. Images about this were spread on telegram channels. Russians often use this method. Sea mines are not banned by international agreements, unlike landmines. However, the use of these mines does come with some rules under international humanitarian law. For example, states can place them in their territorial waters to defend their coasts from external attacks. Recall that last year, landmines displaced by flooding in the wake of the Kakovka Dam collapse this week could pose a deadly threat to thousands of people as they evacuate and a grave danger to civilians in southern Ukraine for decades to come. Warnings from leading charities and both sides of the war come as fears also rise about the risks from waterborne diseases and hazardous chemicals that could poison not just floodwaters, but also the Black Sea, a crucial waterway. Thousands of unexploded mines could have been washed away from previously marked out areas, helping to make Ukraine the worst conflict for unexploded ordnance since 1945, according to one leading mine-clearing charity. In the Perm region, Fighters of Freedom of Russia Legion burned several pieces of military equipment at the airfield of the Russian Defense Ministry. While Ukrainian drones and artillery destroy equipment on the battlefield, Free Russian Legion acted and burned several pieces of military equipment of Russia. Recall, a trio of Russian volunteer groups fighting on behalf of Ukraine. One of them is Freedom of Russia Legion. Three armed groups, the Freedom of Russia Legion, Russian Volunteer Corps and Siberian Battalion, launched a cross-border assault from Ukraine into Russia in this march. Moscow calls them Ukrainian terrorist formations. None of the anti-Kremlin Russian militias will offer actual numbers of men fighting under their colors on grounds of wartime secrecy. They would also fall foul of Ukrainian military rules if they did so, and as formally enlisted soldiers in Ukraine's International Legion they're required to abide by the rules governing classified information. The raids have earned the Freedom of Russia Legion the hatred of their foes. The Freedom of Russia Legion is being hunted by the Russian military, which is keen to identify the militia's bases and in order to reduce the chances of being directed by missiles or drones, Freedom of Russia Legion units are dispersed when on Ukrainian soil, only coming together for big raids. The families of Freedom of Russia Legion members who are still in Russia are harassed and threatened by the FSB intelligence agency to try to extract information from them. And a new Russian law allows authorities to expropriate the property of anyone declared terrorists, a designation that would include Freedom of Russia Legion members. <laughs> 